Oh, that's right. Uh, Dylan Draws, I remember that. Uh, that's a good one, Eric. But I remember Dylan asking me to do this uh, Sekel Khan from Road to El Dorado. He will make a nice, that's a nice uh, appealing drawing. Uh, Sylvester is too. But let's, before we jump into the reviews, let's do that. Okay, so I cannot see the chat at the moment as I'm just coming in here. Let's take a look at this character. Right. Uh, let's work all in black. So... He's very, very angular, which suits me fine. Okay, <laughs> okay. So this is—he's uh, got a long neck there. Let me bring. Uh, I'm drawing a lot bigger, so let me just uh, bring this down a bit. Um, so he's got a long. How is that coming on stream? Let's make the brush fatter. Okay, let's show what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm just giving this uh, <laughs> diamond-shaped head. Okay like this and we have some fingers in the foreground here beautiful beautiful pose i'm trying to get it all in there just to show the harmony okay the ears are going to be at the side okay so here we can like you see i'm really like loving just breaking down shapes and showing the harmony of shapes in conjunction with other shapes so you see that's what i'm thinking of no face nothing okay now dreamworks like to divide the face into three so rather than having the eye line somewhere across the middle i know this was a dreamworks thing uh so we've got the eye line way up here okay and we've got the one oh he's got he's i would say he's almost got two eye widths apart which is which they've made it work i normally that doesn't really happen with humans but they've made it work okay so he's got a massive nasal bridge here so this is where you see the anatomy coming into play the anatomy knowledge where we've got a massive nasal bone coming into play then down here okay i'm going to have this on this third here you see where the same usual business comes we'll have the um the upper maxilla portion so all of this is maxilla okay and uh if you don't know what i'm talking about um go look at the skull okay i'm not going to do the usual uh demonstration of the skull because it's getting worn out now okay so the nose is going to come somewhere in the middle there because the nasal cavity is going to sit here and the nasal bone is going to be there now what we love about this is we can put in some great great human expressions with that upper forelip coming up on the sky so i'm going to do something like that you see how again i'm just looking at the shapes just looking purely at the shapes in this thing before i commit to anything so then in line with this nose <coughs> is going to be the ears. We don't really see that one on that side. We see the square hair and we see the square hair. You see how I'm drawing in vector. Um, I love, uh, you know, I actually love bitmap more than vector. I draw in pencil, um, I, I, I'm a pencil hand drawn animator. That's my thing. But some of you all the time see me drawing in vector on stream. The reason I do that is I don't like to fart about and I like to inspire people to commit. Okay. I often say, uh, be loose with your lines. Don't worry about being definite and all that kind of thing. Uh, yes, I do say that. But at the same time, I want you to get comfortable with making marks like lots of marks. If you have to, uh, you know, suggested marks but i want you to make definite definite marks you can be scribbly but be definite try to be as definite and committing you know again i always like to uh, bring it into the martial arts thing if you're if you're uh if you're ever attacking somebody um you have to go for your attack you can't just be wishy-washy uh, if you be wishy-washy, your your attack is not going to hit its target, and also uh, you're um, you know you're likely to get get hit and knocked out yourself, and you'll have no substance behind your attack because there's no direct definiteness. And it's the same thing with with this really. Uh, you've got to be definite with your stroke. So now I've kind of got this construction underneath, uh, well this shape idea underneath. I can now just draw what I see on top. So here I can see like this eye, okay? So he's got this awesome expression here. So we've got this like half, not even half, just like completely almost closed eyelids looking very, very evil um, hair like that. So we've got this 
kind of eyelid coming here I'm just gonna heavy the top I'm always gonna be a little bit slower on the eyes because that's where you know the the they say the eyes are the window to the soul that's where the personality is going to come in so I'm just going to be a little bit slower here to, to get these um, right but you know make sure that they're definite strokes tell yourself the the when you're drawing tell yourself I am in control the pen or the pencil goes where I tell it to okay and that way you know just feel confident about what you're doing okay I've never drawn this character before the movie came out when I when I was already working in the animation industry so um, never really um, although I have a lot of respect for these newer films I don't quite have the same level of awe as I do of the old stuff so I never really made an effort to study from any of these right so up here we have this this is good because from anatomy wise okay we have his nasal bridge so this line nasal bone so he's got a really high nasal bone coming up here and his nose comes in the middle here like <laughs> like that and it sort of comes together and they really you can see the anatomy and the design of this nose as they've got the um the nasal cartilage really working in this drawing on either side like that so it's really quite nice and what this nasal uh thing does is it, it allows the facial paint the face paint to come over his face uh like that there so you can really see the construction at work here but being utilized to make the tattoo on his face i'll talk about that a little bit late a little bit more here because we've got the zygomatic okay the zygomatic bone coming in here so when we draw you often see me talk about this face mask because at the side we've got these zygomatic bones okay um so that's the only reason i'm going slow because i'm i'm revealing these secrets to you guys here okay so what they've done here is they've got this tattoo okay that's coming along this face mask to give that's how the character the animators and the cleanup artists uh will have maintained consistency of the character because of the formula of just using anatomy to get this um, uh, zygomatic face mask coming in on the character now I'm not going to do the side of his face just yet because I want to focus on this um, fore mouth okay which is very very interesting right so we have this upper lip which comes in here like this and the upper lip uh, I'm gonna yeah, I'm going to actually go a bit lower than my construction on, on the on the maxilla line there because that's actually how it how it goes. And we have the smile coming up there like that, which is very, very nice. OK, and then inside we've got this um, triangle uh, shaped mouth where we will have the lower lip coming here like this. OK, have kind of got it offset a bit. But we're going to put in some of these teeth okay let's see how his teeth are one two okay so has he got the right amount of teeth one two i'm just seeing three four okay so he's got all his incisors and his canine up there like that okay yeah yeah he's more or less got that you see again the teeth anatomy comes into play there's a little gap in the teeth going on there so again if you know your teeth I'm not gonna I'm just gonna do that in the bottom I'm not gonna go drawing them all in but he's this this animator has really really exhibited his knowledge with this drawing um, he's got all the uh, incisors the four incisors the two canines well into view there okay so then here uh, again just just you see how this pointing is hair like this just like an arrow that was a song by an 80s band called Magnum. I bet many of you don't know that. Just like an arrow. Google it. It's an awesome song. Okay, so on this portion of the chin, we've just got that tattoo going along there like that. Okay, so you see how easy it is. Okay, and then along here, we've got some nice uh, definition of the smile lines of the cheek coming around here of the orbicularis oris. Okay, right, so now we're going to talk about the temple bone, okay, which comes along the side, okay, and this is how we're going to find our haircut, okay, along here and our ear shape, which comes along here like that. You see, anatomy makes everything, everything easy, okay, everything, even copying, okay, 
it's it's just not a challenge when you know where everything's supposed to go so down here comes the um the mandible okay and then he has this awesome pointed chin okay coming here like this off to a square like that and then from this side we're going to bring that up and then we're going to curve that out and come bring that up there like that which is nice and then from there we're going to have the zygomatic cheek coming in there to kind of unify all that so this this character's face is actually really really nice because although it's focusing on graphic shapes and all this kind of thing and it's cartoony the these designers have really really um really really explored and experimented with uh with what they can do with the anatomical uh references in in the structural uh features of the character's face so here he's got his um his ear tattoo piece and his other ear tattoo piece all symmetrical along the side there like that but we're bringing this this way to play with the dimension of the perspective and now I'm just going to have a slurp of my tea now it's all black it's all black in the background so I can't make out where his head is so I'm just gonna have to imagine okay using my own and anatomical knowledge that it's gonna be something like that okay so I'm gonna also look at the the hairstyle so above his hair he's got another cleft hair okay where we're gonna come in here and I think we've got another this is interesting we got another cleft hair coming up here and a a pointed shape hair to unify the two like that okay there's a love that is a really nice expression um, I must confess I really really cannot stand this film I find it incredibly boring um, but uh, it has some outstanding animation in there. The characters, uh, the design, I absolutely, you know, um, I'm guilty of using the word lust, <laughs> lusting over the, the female design. The Chell uh, character is absolutely gorgeous and her animation is, uh, wow, yeah. Um, yeah, amazing, absolutely incredible. But I just... I just thought the film was just hopeless. I just couldn't. I actually fell asleep in the cinema when I was watching it. And I forced, I bought it on DVD purely for the animation. But uh, I couldn't stand the film. Right, so uh, the shoulder pads, okay, come round down here like this. Again, I can't see anything on, on the side here, so I'm just going to do, do that. Now we've got a bit of necklace here. What makes this pose even more stunning, okay, is the finger, okay, the finger pattern, okay, of the character kind of pressing his fingers together and we have some nails. I'm not going to spend too long on those. I'm just going to put them in there like that and I'm just going to have uh, that in there like this and they're kind of pressing uh, the other fingers there like that and then on this side we have another um, part of that okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that in there like that so there we go uh, and what I will do is I'll make sure that this is closed off so I don't really have a idea of the hairstyle from this image it just was such a strong expression that I decided to cover that okay so hopefully you guys got a nice little breakdown of this uh, oh uh, what I will do is I will just show you the tattoo okay so let's take a gray color like this and show you what else because color makes a big deal color makes a big deal look at the contouring of the character's face by the way so if we just do this okay this also is part of the character design okay it's not like uh, something additional this is also something that really brings appeal to the character and he has um, the same color on his lips to unify that I think it's important 
to bring that into play. So there we go. So um, AMD is the greatest archive anyone could ever ask for. You know, of all the books I've read, of all the other online tutorials I have seen, this was the missing key. Every video is like packed with this information that I would never be able to get anywhere else. So I would say this, this is the greatest resource for learning animation. For me, AMD Animation Library is hands down the best animation learning resource that I've seen. I've tried all the tutorials, I've gotten all the books, I've never been able to um, really grow until I found AMD. And it's incredible. I've only just begun it, but like I definitely am getting more from that than I did from my one and a half years of college. I've noticed definitely that my animation has improved a lot and it's more alive than ever. And what I also like about his animation training is that you also gain real confidence. Real Animator Training Library is unequivocally the best resource uh, for animation, 2D animation, traditional hand-drawn animation that I've seen. So I wholeheartedly recommend the AMB Real Animator Training Library to anybody who wants actual knowledge and actual applicable concepts uh, to create their own animation and to move forward in the field of animation and to set your work above those uh, that are just kind of teaching themselves and not learning these true, tried and true classic concepts. AMB is motivated by his students' successes and improvements. He's a great teacher, a great animator with over 20 years experience in the industry so you can't really get much better than that. I strongly recommend him to anybody. I'm thinking on how to put in words what I feel about it. I love that. It approached me from my dream of becoming an animator. Every cent I paid in there was worth it. I like that the library is structured. I can go back and watch it anytime I want to. And um, he's just got so much knowledge. And uh, I just highly recommend it to anyone who's out there looking to learn traditional 2D animation. And so thank you, MB, so much. And uh, thank you so much for like all you've done for me. <laughs> so, are you going to join the library?